Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at Trey in Germany's finished hot tub. It's absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to share it with you. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so some projects take a couple of months, others take a lot longer, and Trey's is, is certainly one of those. When I look back through all of the email exchanges and, and those kind of things. I could date those right back to October of 2022 when Trey first got in touch. What Trey had done was he'd, he'd actually found, as you can see behind me here, a filled in kind of a, an, an old plunge pool in his garden and it was buried with plants and he'd cut them back and discovered it randomly. So obviously, you're going to dig that out, which you can see here, and that's exactly what Trey did. And he wanted to kind of bring this back to life. And it was at this point that he found my website over at buildahottub.com and he got in touch. He sent me some pictures and asked if I could help him with his project. Obviously, the answer was yes, and I always love a challenge, and this one looked particularly interesting as well. So I had Trey look closely at the walls and send me plenty of pictures and video and that kind of thing. And we pretty quickly came to the same conclusion that there was no real way that we could save the walls as they are and have a watertight, structurally sound hot tub come plunge pool. It just wasn't gonna work. They were just too far gone. So as there was no way to keep the existing walls, Trey was gonna knock those out. But what he wanted to keep was the, the look and the feel of the original. And we've done just that with the design. So he sent me uh, a whole series of measurements and you can see that he, uh, he drew up. One of the great things about Trey is awesome at planning and every step of the way there was lots of planning, lots of exchanges and he very methodically worked through everything. So with that plan I then put together a CAD design for him which you can see here and, and that was essentially the, the basis of, of what we were going to build. I say we, he was doing all the hard work and I was just there answering the questions as he needed. Now, before we go any further, always a great opportunity for me to say, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos just like this every single week, a whole bunch of shorts and everything on my channel focuses on DIY hot tubs, plunge pools, parts, and pretty much everything in between. So with that out the way, where were we? We were looking at Trey removing the walls. We've got a design in place, so he's now gonna put some walls back in. And you can see behind me, that's exactly what he was doing. So he's built this out of CMU blocks. If you've watched other videos on this channel, or indeed you read about it in my blog, CMU blocks, hollow concrete blocks, it's a concrete masonry unit. You can fill full of concrete with some rebar in there and it's a nice, quick, cost-effective way of creating a pool or a hot tub. And that's exactly what Trey did. And you can see the, the images cycling behind me here. He's put the blocks in, he's then added some plumbing, he's then filled the blocks, then he's rendered the surface. He's then waterproofed it, and you can see that black material there, that's the waterproofing layer. And then he's moved on to tiling it as well, and you can see what the almost finished product kind of looks like. In tandem, Trey was working on his control room, and he's actually housed his control room in a basement, so it's kind of indoors, which is also kind of cool. So he's got an air source heat pump in there, but it's really well vented. So what you can't really do is run something like that in a closed room. He's got a well vented basement, but there's the cover that you need to keep all the equipment dry, but with the airflow to make sure everything stays nice and cool, but most importantly for that air source heat pump that the cold air can be moved away and heat extracted from the Air. Now you may think that these fantastic images that he sent me, everything went plain sailing. It didn't. We had a, a number of issues along the way. We had some leaks. We had airlocks. We had some plumbing that wasn't put in as per the diagrams. And for that reason, he wasn't getting the flow that he needed. So that had to be cut out. We had fun with some spar packs. 
not working correctly. We had a topside control that failed. So it wasn't a plain sailing project. However, most importantly, Trey came out the other side and he's got an absolutely stunning hot tub. So for a change, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna shut up for the next 40, 50 seconds or so, and I'm gonna leave you to enjoy the footage of Trey's hot tub that he's very kindly recorded for me. So Trey, it's over to you. These are definitely my favorite kind of videos to make, the, when everything is done and it's looking back at how, how we started, what we overcame along the way, and then the end result. And I'm sure you'll agree, Trey's got an absolutely stunning hot tub there. Trey, it's been an absolute pleasure working with you. Thanks ever so much for all of the images and the video footage that you've sent over the last couple of years. I'm sure you and the family are gonna really enjoy that hot tub and do keep in touch. If I can help you in any way with your hot tub or plunge pool project, please do get in touch. There's nothing that's too strange or too bizarre. I'm always happy to hear from you. As always, I appreciate the view. Thanks ever so much for watching. I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.